Hey everyone, it's Allie Corman, Harold Morris here with your option of the day for Thursday, April 27th. And today we're going to be taking a look at a bull put spread in the gold ETF GLD. So it's good to see you, Harold. Let's first go to MarketSmith and talk through the thesis behind this trade. All right. So gold, you know, it's had a nice move recently. Gold is in, in the, seems to be in the news because of uh, uncertainty in the economy. So gold is uh, setting up, it is in the buy range. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put a trade on because it's pulled back just a little bit. If you hover your mouse over the pattern, that's going to give you the buy point uh, or the pivot. Pivot and buy points, the same thing. This is important because when we look at our break even, it's going to play, that pivot's going to play into our break even there. So uh, gold is showing bullish signs. So that's the purpose of mm -hmm. the trade here. Okay, great. And, you know, we like to say that every good option trade starts out with a good stock trade. So thanks for walking through the chart setup here. And we'll keep in mind that 181.73 ish area uh, for mm -hmm. the break even. So thanks for that, Harold. GLD is currently trading around 184. So now let's head on over to the Thinkorswim dashboard and walk through the option chain starting with what expiration we'll be looking at. Okay, so first off, we're going to go out to the June 2023 expiration. So that's 50 days out. So I'm going to click on that. And again, we have calls on this side. We have puts, and puts on this side. And then we have the strike prices here. So we're going, to, uh, we're going to be on the put side. We're going to sell a put spread. So I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out by going down to the 80 strike here. So I'm going to sell the 80 strike. I just... Click that and raise up a little bit. And then I'm going to buy the 175 for protection. I like to call it protection. Mm. Pull my shift key down. And so, again, here's the trade here, selling the 180, buying the 175. And that's going to give us a credit of $1.14. So let's take a look at the numbers here. So I want to click on confirm and send. And we see, so there's our max profit. That's the credit received. And then the break even. This is why I want to point out the pivot or buy point because the break even is a little bit below that. So you may not, you may not, you may want to not, you know, wait till it gets down to 178. Uh, you may put a stop there, maybe at, at right at the pivot at the 181 and change. So just want to make you aware of that. So now yeah. let's take a look at the numbers here. Let's, you know, look at our numbers, see if this is a trade you want to actually put some money into. So we're going to take a look at our probability of success. So I'm going to go over here. Let me click on edit. And I've got the notes here on the left side. All right. So our probability of success, how do we calculate that? So we take the width of the spread minus the credit received. So the width of, respect, width, width of the spread is $5. The difference between 180 and 175 minus the credit received. That Our actual risk is going to be $3.86 or in option terms, $386. So that's going to be our actual risk. Now determine what the probability of success is going to be. We take the actual risk the, uh, divided by five, which is the width of the spread, multiplied by 100. So our probability of success is going to be at 77.2%, which is pretty good. I like that. So if you like these numbers, so we've always determined that, okay, we're going to put uh, $2,500 into this trade. So how many contracts are we going to be buying? So we take our $2,500, that's the amount of money we want to put into this trade, divided by our actual risk, which is $386, and that works out to 6.48 or six contracts. So we can change the number of contracts here to the number six, mm -hmm. and then go back to our confirm and send. And again, so here's our buying power. So Close to that $2,500 is not always going to be uh, exact, but then the break even and the, the max profit improves because we're putting on more contracts. Exactly. And that's the trade there. So gold, hopefully, uh, as there's more uncertainty, gold should get more, uh, uh, more interest by traders and investors out there. We'll have to see because you're absolutely right. We've we saw a strong run and then a compelling looking pullback. Will we get a bounce here? 
We'll have to see. But Harold, thanks so much for walking through this trade today. And as a quick reminder, that $2,500, that is derived from a portfolio risk of about 2.5%, right? So for traders out there, if $2,500 does not equal that 2.5% risk of their uh, you know, dollar risk of their portfolio, they should just find what that dollar risk is of that two and a half percent and go from there to figure out how many contracts. Right. And if that's too large for your portfolio, just lower the number of right. contracts. Exactly. Well said. All right. Well, thanks everyone. Make sure you check out the Options Trader app from IBD. You can download it from the Apple App Store today to check out more daily trade ideas, option videos, and education too. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.